Wow. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She she talked about the things she loved. Oh, me, sweet! Like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. What happened next? Don't leave me in suspense. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's one day. One fucking day. We have to survive at the tomorrow. <laughs> and then we'll be able to play Star Wars. Of course, guys, I'll be giving away the game. In case you didn't hear me tell you that yet. That's what I'll be doing. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and have to continue through this place. And get Bravati her wedding. Move along. You move along. Who do I talk to? Maybe I gotta do the main story first a little bit before we can start doing Pravati's thing. Or maybe I'm just going the wrong way. Which is also a possibility. Yep. <clears throat> oh, you guys like that elevator tune? Mm. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Mm. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Man, I'm fucking excited for Star Wars, man. Star Wars is gonna be the shit. And I don't mean just a regular kind of shit. I mean the good shit. You feel me? <laughs> God, I'm feeling childish today. And my bad for that. I've just been super happy once I finally got home. I can finally start doing YouTube, you know? That's... Ah, oh, man, guys. It's the dream. It's the dream. Believe me when I tell you. It's the dream. All right. Let's go ahead and enter this place. How are you, you doing, with baby? The hips. Over here. Let me take a closer look at you. Uh, uh, uh. My hips? Don't speak. Hold that posture for a moment while I admire you. You have a natural contraposto, my dear. <laughs> what? The way you rest your weight against your hip suggests a certain rugged charisma wow. possessed only by the mighty primal and the well-traveled oh, my. Splendid. I love it. Wow, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Buy me a drink first, will ya? God damn. There it is. The most pre pretentious thing I'll hear all day. That's me, rugged and well-traveled. You can tell me all that by the way I'm standing. You're not afraid of speaking your mind. You <laughs> smolder. Bro. Well, I'm glad you found that out. Perfect. Mm, damn right, baby. I'm Celeste Jolica. And you, my dear? Are exactly what Byzantium needs. Wow, she knows how to sell her things, huh? What Byzantium needs is to be taken apart brick by brick. It's like you read my mind. Are you trying to sell me something? I'm an artist, darling, not a tweed merchant. I don't sell things. I holiday the world with art. Wow. I'm working on a new line of clothing that will shock explain the your makeup. city to its core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? Uh, sounds like fun, I guess. Marvelous! You and I are gonna wake this city up like a cold splash of wine to the face! <laughs> what? What I need is a survey of the outside world. What does the common laborer wear? How do the common? wild madmen of Monarch dress themselves? I've heard rumors, but I require samples. Jesus. Also, I expect you to model for me. Are you kidding me? Any excuse to admire my looks, huh? Can't blame you. <laughs> oh, you cad. You'll be the talk of Byzantium once I'm done with you. Jesus. I'll need you to model for me the following. The apparel of an iconoclast, the armor of a marauder, and a full ensemble of spacer gear. Wow. Helmet included. Helmet included, of course. And when I say spacer gear... I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. None of that garbage spacers choice. <laughs> you have the bearing and demeanor of a born model. You I don't mind this. Be showered with compliments. What I deserve. See what I can do. Fabulous. I can't wait to see what you dredge up. Jesus. All right, my engineer's going on a date and she needs a fine outfit. You don't got to be so forward about my reasons, Captain. 
Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. Turn around. My word. Such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. I am no such thing, ma'am. Nonsense. You're absolutely lovely. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Oh, my. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Materials, labor, licensing, and copyright. <laughs> there. <laughs> that all for an outfit. 6,000 bits. Um... She's an engineer. I think she you think she can afford that. She needs to impress her true love. Fees for licensing and copyright. Cut the bullshit. Show me the fair price. Now. Captain, please don't do this again. <laughs> Aren't you a brute? But you're in luck, darling. I enjoy a brute now and again. Well. They shake things up. Create the unexpected. Alright, Captain. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. Alright, what you got? 3,000 bits, huh? Um, hold up. Did you actually measure her for this outfit? I don't see any measuring tape. Darling, do I look like an amateur? Well... I read her measurements by eye. And don't you ask, because they're no one's business but her own. I suppose that's true. I guess we can swing 3,000 bits, huh? There are some things God I simply damn, can't that's a lot of money to give for a Such goddamn a dress. Such a young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back. I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. Wow. All right. Hour has passed. And there we are, my darling girl. I Fancy evening wear? Collar. Oh, no collar. don't mind my asking. It's the kind of stuff I are like. Any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. Well, Bravadio looks like you still got something. Let's trade, baby. I can't. What? Ah, this is all the fashionable stuff, huh? Ooh, a top hat. Oh my. Anyway, Bravadio, let's do this, baby. Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. <laughs> well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time, I can, I just have to actually do it now. That's right. You, you know, got this, baby. There's there's a part Jun Lei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only carried them on big colony ships. Oh, of Let course we're not done. Profati making every little thing perfect won't change Jun Lei's feelings. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. Nice. I'll send June a message and ask her over. All right, gotta she talk to Parvati on the me. ship then. I'm grateful for all you've done. You're welcome, baby girl. Let's get to the ship. Let's get to the ship. Man, I am excited. I swear, next time we put in the groundbreaker, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask her over. <laughs> Guess we gotta go to groundbreaker, huh? Having trouble focusing on my work. I th I met that auto mechanical clanking around the ship yet? Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad'd say. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> of course. You should try talking to him. You'll see. He's a hoot. I bet. All right, let's head to Groundbreaker then. Let's see if we can get Pravati some fine bootang. You feel me? <laughs> Guys, by the way, thanks so much for the support we've been getting on the series so far. And I thank you guys every single episode, so I'm sorry if it's getting a bit tired. But, um, you know what? Just, I'm overwhelmed. And I can't see for what Star Wars is going to bring to the channel. I hope it's going to be good. I hope it's going to be good. All right. She's on her way. How do I look? Uh, cleaner, maybe. Oh, 
My hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. What do you Deep mean? Breath. You're still wearing the outfit. Here I go. The, the armor. Wait, where'd you go? Wait, I'm not gonna see the date? No, I wanna see it! Oh shit, there it is. Let's sneak out on him. There she is? And there she- That's what I- Oh fuck! I didn't mean to shoot. Anyhow, so I told That's the outfit I bought? I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my own. That's what it? That? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench. All right, guess I gotta leave. <laughs> gotta get out of my own shit. I can't take Parvati with me. She's on a date right now. So let's take Felix. Let's take my boy Felix. So yeah, we're gonna have to continue uh, the other worlds until it's finished, at least. Um, before we can even start doing anything else. I mean, um, I'm, I'm gonna be doing Star Wars and stuff at the same time as the other worlds. So I'm just gonna uh, be uploading a video of both every day. It's gonna be a bit more work for me, but I should be able to squeeze it in if I'm lucky. My girlfriend's not gonna be happy, but uh, <laughs> it's yeah, for a good yeah, cause. Sorry. It's for a good cause. Okay, Captain, she's gone. Okay, I'm away. Did it go well? I want all the details. I feel like running laps around the cargo bay. Oh my. So she got here, and the first thing she said was, Oh, you smell nice, like mock apples. And I was like, yeah, new soap. And then she sort of touched my arm <laughs> more gentle-like and the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then That's I let her adorable, the guys. And she about cried when she saw the spread. So you laid out the meal, brought June in, and started the music? I know, it was there. <laughs> I figured you'd do this some place more romantic, like the engine room. Let's skip to the good part. She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monarch Monarchian? Monarchian? Monarchist? Monarchist? Monarch person. Yeah, let's go with that. So the meal went well. Dessert too? Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about... The things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired. What base you get to Bravati? Come on. She taught me to build. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary. Said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. Oh my. And? I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. Wow. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She she talked about the things she loved. Oh, me, sweet. Like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. What happened next? Don't leave me in suspense. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes. Woo! That's very sweet. What about your disinterest in physical affection? <laughs> I can't ask that. Uh, the important thing is no more random errands? It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met Jun Lei at all. Exactly. I don't know I'm pretty about awesome. the law or the capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just going to head to my cabin and happy screaming to my pillow for like an hour. <laughs> 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 you go ahead and do that, girl. All yours. All yours. So yeah, we gotta get... Let's put two more points in engineering. Let's see. I feel like we gotta get our talking a bit up, huh? Let's just get five more points in the one-handers. Two more points in that one. And let's put one more point into Persuade. That sounds pretty good so far. Let's get our one-handed to 80, because that's gonna be our main thing. And for now, um, 30% extra damage while under 25% health. I think that might be good because we're going to be melee. But um, what else can we get, though? 25% extra walk speed. I don't mind that one too much. Maybe we can move a little faster when we're bobbing and weaving around enemies. Once we bobbing and weaving about enemies. 
I got a picture of June Lay. Is this it? No. There it is. Oh, look at that! Look at that! That's nice. That's awesome. Not gonna lie, guys, this game is awesome. Let's make me tear up a little bit, man. This is brought him true love. Captain. Fucking awesome. Damn, that was awesome. I like that. Stuff like that gets me happy. Alright. So yeah, let's continue back into Byzantium and continue a little bit with the main storyline before we're going to go end the episode. And I will be recording another one right after this one. So uh, get ready, baby. Get ready, BB. BBQ. Alright, so guys, if you have been enjoying the series so far, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if you haven't done so already. And I would love a subscriber extra, you know? Another member of the family, you feel me? So for now, guys, I really appreciate all the support we've been getting, and um, yeah, it's just been awesome. It's just been awesome. There it is. Exam. Issuing sanitation ticket. Error. Refill printer paper. All right. <laughs> Good conversation. Are we gonna get in trouble today? Not that I want to. Just. Seems to happen around you, is all. Hey, what the hell? Head back to the ship. Now nah, we good. I do cause a lot of trouble, mostly because I'm just a dick. <laughs> it's not my fault. I can't help it. Gotta be an asshole whenever I go. Forsyth Luxury Munition discovered. What do you guys think of this city? Looks awesome, right? If you guys are playing Outer Worlds yourself, uh, have you gotten this far yet? If it's far at all, I don't even know. Ooh. Guard Mayfield. Hey, hey! Stand hey, back! Stand back! You. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Okay. Are you supposed to drink on the job? Didn't know. Calm down. I was just looking for the bathroom. I was. I was. Didn't know I was talking to a big shot. Yep, you're looking at the minister's <laughs> personal guard. Wow. Right here. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Wow. Anything you can tell me about Minister Clark? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes well, me Mayfield. Important don't think we're gonna get along. In the colony. Yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal eudialysis issued shotgun. It's just sealed. They don't give those out to just anyone. I want one. A key, you say? That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key. <laughs> Fucking residence. drunk people. <laughs> Easy targets. Wow. How about I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have! Because today's my big day! He's got powerful good ears, too. <laughs> and a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Offer him a Spectrum Vodka. Here's your promotion. Here's to me. I have one on me. Okay, You're good. Really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. Oh, we should. Wow! Listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could have another I could, one. I could have another. You got another? I don't know. That's not every day. I had another one. Dream job, right? Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur. <laughs> oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Wow. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Oh, come on. 
medical. With your BMI, you could metabolize another. Just drink plenty of water. Persuade, that's a problem for tomorrow. You know, that's a very good point. Yeah. What is that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? <laughs> or am I just tasting breakfast? Preparing bodily waste. Collection receptacle. I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Okay. So what do I do? I just follow Mayfield and pickpocket him or something? How do you pickpocket somebody? Oh, so I got the tactical shotgun, which was so special. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. So we just fucking robbed the main guard. Pretty decent. We did that in a few seconds. <laughs> Am I just that good? And just that good. Alright guys, so fucking hell man, this game has been a blast. Honestly, the guys who thought of all the dialogue in this game, I can't fit through those people. Hats off to them, man. They are fucking awesome. Really impressed. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. Oh, this Jesus. Brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Wow. Okay, I'm here for Mr. Clark, though. The minister isn't expecting visitors. Retrieve the minister's like package from HPS. HPS. Minister Clark's a private man, and you're asking too many questions. Farewell. Alright, so it looks like we gotta go intercept the package on the other side of the building. Um, let's go ahead and do that in the next episode. For now, guys, thank you so much for watching, and um, I gotta work from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. tomorrow, so that's a 15 hour ish day. Uh, so I can't really upload tomorrow, so I'm gonna be recording another video right after this one, but it will be uploaded tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I really appreciate the support. I can't fucking wait for Friday when Star Wars is releasing. See you guys later, and if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like, comment, or sub it up there. Bye bye!